Why do children develop so differently? What sets them apart? He professed children are influenced by five different contexts in which they live, the interactions within these contexts, and the changes over time. The first context is the microsystem. The most important interaction occurs between Billy and his parents. These relationships are two-way, meaning Billy respects his friends and they respect him in return. The mesosystems are the interactions that occur within Billy's microsystem. Billy's parents work in partnership with Billy's teacher, which promotes development. The exosystems are contexts that don't exactly involve Billy but affect him indirectly. For example, Billy's dad's work. The macrosystems is the environment that provides cultural values, political policies or economic decisions that influence Billy indirectly. The chronosystems are the contextual changes that occur over time. The way Billy's mum speaks to him now is more advanced to that when he was younger. Another example is the use of technology compared to generations before. Payne 2008 confirms that the breakdown in one or more of these ecological systems means children are at risk of underdevelopment. Effective teachers take affirmative action when required to improve learning outcomes. Four experiences that could make children vulnerable include poverty, social class, multicultural backgrounds and refugees. They share the following commonalities. Firstly, the personal traits of parents, how they respond to the needs of their children, their ability to cope in stressful situations, their physical and mental health, and their level of education is critical in a child's development. Firstly, Billy's dad, Ron, left school early, works in an unskilled job for significantly less pay. Billy's mum, Alice, suffers from depression and is unable to provide stimulating environments for Billy to increase his brain development. Differences in language and behavioural development can be seen at two years of age and without intervention, Billy is at risk. But Billy attends a high quality childcare the Australian Research Alliance for Children and Youth 2009 believe this is the most successful, cost-effective intervention strategy for disadvantaged families. Likewise, the level of support and intervention in the community contributes significantly to child development, especially over multiple contexts. For example, only 36% of Aboriginal children living in remote areas can access a library. This negatively impedes development. All vulnerable children have faced some form of hardship, which is why they are at risk. They have developed a sense of survival, a coping mechanism, and cannot easily show emotions. For example, if Billy was a refugee, his withdrawn nature could be viewed as not wanting to engage in other children, instead undeveloped social skills. Students ignore him and he continues to feel isolated. Luckily, Billy's teacher obtained community support and carefully encouraged engagement through collaboration. Research suggests the quality of the teacher is fundamental to improving educational outcomes. Now, to look at the exceptions. These statistics show that poverty is becoming increasingly widespread in society. The gap between rich and poor increases and the stereotype that material possessions equal success is more prevalent. Billy doesn't have the latest shoes. Eamon 2001 suggests that Billy will experience peer rejection, lower popularity, be placed in low achieving classrooms and he might start acting out. Engel and Black 2008 examine the cyclic nature of the problem. Having limited income limits the chances of educational attainment and at the same time educational attainment is one of the prime mechanisms for escaping poverty. Eamon 2011 states that when parents' coping mechanisms are overtaxed, parents feel powerless and may engage in drug, alcohol or erratic behaviour. Domestic violence is a repeated theme amongst poor families, with most children experiencing fear and aggression rather than the fear of missing out. Ray 2001 states that social class remains a strong predictor of academic success. Ting 2014 adds that the higher expectations in upper classes drives parents to invest a considerable amount of resources to help their children achieve these goals. This class advantage negatively impacts the lower classes as they don't have the means to ensure academic success, keeping them at a disadvantage. For example, Billy's grandfather attended an elite school and plays golf with the principal and is accepted into the same school. Billy's cousin, Frank, and his family have worked in the shipyard for generations. Through preconceived notions by his parents, teachers, and the community, Frank never considered doing anything else. 
With encouragement from his sister, Frank starts writing and earns a scholarship into university. He struggles with his new ambition while trying to negotiate his old identity and can't help but feeling an imposter. Ray 2011 confirms students feel disconnected when they work outside the norms that they have grown up with. Farage Buchanan and Chad Kiewitz 2009 suggest that 45% of Australian children or one of their parents are born overseas. Teachers need to understand the significance of cultural responsive pedagogy, allowing students to make connections with what they know. The different language spoken and cultural beliefs at home means children must adopt a new cultural code at school. Often their inability to code switch effectively can be misread. Teachers remonstrate and children have negative feelings towards school. For example, Pakistani girls do not maintain eye contact as this is perceived as impolite, which could be misread as them not listening or being disrespectful. Hutchin 2011 suggests that many students have to deal with racism, stereotypes, misrepresentation and cultural disempowerment, which can create feelings of inadequacy, inferiority and self-doubt which impacts development. Refugees either gain direct entry into Australia or are withheld in detention centres. Refugees have been forced to migrate because of the unstable conditions in their countries. They bring few possessions, have little understanding of their new country and have suffered forms of physical and psychological trauma. Tom and his family have escaped from Afghanistan and he sometimes appears aggressive in his actions. It is important that the teacher takes necessary steps to guide the family in seeking community assistance to help assimilate into their new country. It is clear that the interactions between the systems in Bronfenbrenner's ecological model, especially teacher-parent and teacher-child relationships, can positively influence the lives of children and provide turning points in life tra trajectories.